Hey, James, huge game for you today. I think 10 of 12 on the day. What was going on for you offensively, and what did you see from that Virginia Tech defense, especially in the paint? Uh, just being aggressive. Um, their defense, you know, they uh, I got a lot of my points off the pick and roll, and their defense had their uh, five men kind of coming late. And, you know, the guards did a brilliant job uh, getting me the ball, whether it was a late or, like, quickly. Um, put me in great positions to score. So it was honestly uh, the great passes and the great uh, positioning that uh, the guards put me in to allow me to score like that. Go to Dan Rubin. James, it seems like there are different ways to, when you're when you're the big man to kind of attack the basket. You've got your back to the basket, you're doing it in the post, you attack the ball by, by you know, face up, drive at the hoop. Um, is there anyone that you look for when you get those passes or you see it open or is it more of a reaction to, to what the defense is giving you? And is there anything that the coaching staff kind of stresses for you to look for? Um, the coaching staff, uh, the coaching staff, honestly, uh, they always just emphasize being aggressive. Coach Mo has always worked on me with just being aggressive, being aggressive. He's, he's my player coach. Um, but when it comes to a game, it's honestly just reading. Um, whether it's, you know, I make a move and I'm open in the middle and I, I go for it, or if I see a double, I try to kick it out. I think I hit DeMar. I've been wanting DeMar to shoot it. If you guys ever interviewed DeMar, tell him to shoot the ball. Um, I, wanted, I wanted DeMar to shoot that one. He was open. Um, but, yeah, it's just honestly just reading the defense a lot. You know, I'll, I'll make a move. I kind of have a go-to. Like, you know, I'll maybe try attack middle or I know I, I want to counter back to my left shoulder. Um, but then after that, it's kind of reading. I, I kind of know what I want to go to initially and then read what they, how they play it. Go back to Andy. James, in your last game, you know, only had one point. You fouled out. What was the mentality going into this one when you have a performance like that and knowing that you want to bounce back? Honestly, um, a big thing for me this year is just mentally, you know, I feel like COVID, including, you know, there's a lot of mental health things going on. And uh, it's very easy to kind of get mentally down in these situations and, like, you know, suffer. Like, sometimes I'm like, is basketball even for me? Um, but just being able to kind of work through it and not put so much pressure on myself and just go next game, you know, this is, this is all about basketball. You know, every great player, every player has ups and downs. So it's just making sure that you fight on it. Don't get hard on yourself. And that's honestly what I told myself. I said, you know, don't stress it. I feel like sometimes I really try to just force it. I'm like, you're going to have a great game. And honestly, when I tell myself that it doesn't turn out for me all the time because you know, sometimes whether I get too aggressive and I get in foul trouble because, you know, I'm always trying to make every single play. My, my guard gets beat. I have to stop it for him because I want to win this game. But that puts me in bad positions. So, you know, I think just letting the game kind of come to me. And then, you know, if the guards are uh, looking for me, that helps too. kind of gets me going when they, when they get me nice passes and it makes my job so easy. So that's definitely good for me. We'll go to Rich. Hi, James. I'm sorry if you already answered this, but just talk about the start of the second half. And uh, just it, it seemed like you guys kind of slept rock through the first half. Just comment on how you came out in the second. Oh, second, uh, we've, we've had some times where, you know, our energy is down at the start of the game and then started at a half. So, you know, the emphasis for this game was just, you know, when the game starts, we're, we're going right into it. And uh, that's, that's exactly what we did. We wanted to make sure we attack. Um, like I said, the, the way their, their, their big was, it was they're kind of late, so they had me a lot. And so I just made sure, okay, I just got to keep getting myself open. They're going to keep finding me, and that's the emphasis, just keep attacking inside. So, All right, we'll go to McCullough, then back to Dan. Hey, James, how does it feel just to hit that 1,000-point plateau? Thank you for pointing that out. That was awesome. You know, I, I've been thinking about that that whole year. You know, you kind of have some achievements that you want to – you want to achieve in your uh, college basketball, you know, first, you know, getting a division one offer coming out of Canada, that, that, that was an achievement for me. Um, and then, you know, starting my whole college career, that was a big point for me. And then playing at the ACC, that's another one. And then the last one for me was the big 1000, you know, so just reaching that goal for me. <laughs> I actually kind of compl completely forgot. I had in the back of my mind, but then once I started playing, I completely forgot. And then, uh, Mike here, our, our, our media guy, was like, hey, congrats on the thousand. I was like, wow, that's right. I did hit it. And so, you know, it just feels great. So I'm really excited. It just shows, you know, like I said, just the, the, the strive that you have to keep on doing with basketball. You know, there's, there's a lot of, you know, two-point games in that 1,000, you know, but just making sure that how I react the next time and just making sure that I come back into it. And honestly, I figured out that starts in practice. You know, I can't dwell on it in practice. 
the times I'm being aggressive and I'm just moving past it, being high energy, um, I end up having good games the next day. So it's an emphasis for me. All right, we'll go to Dan. Mukawa beat me to it. So I, uh, so I got to pivot here, but I got to ask, I'm not Canadian for polite. Like, it's not even when you, you hit a dunk or two and you, then you, you flex on the guy that you dunk on. I thought Canadians were supposed to be polite. Not this Canadian, not this Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's why I'm Captain Canada. You know, I have to show out. You know, we're not all nice. Any last questions for James? Oh, just the fact that you scored the thousandth on a step back three, which was- That was on the, okay, that's awesome. I didn't even realize that was the play, okay. Maybe my, maybe my self-conscious was like, hey, you gotta shoot this. 